Hello and welcome back to another daily edition to the General Stone Daily Analysis. Today is Monday the 16th of September. I have had a little more run over my head and I hope that you're joining me here today to get some fantastic ideas on how to trade with your beautiful G Options trading account. Of course, www.goptions.com, the best binary options trading platform to trade. As we can see here, we've got the title, Summer Officially Quits. He's ringing the bell, he's given up, Lawrence Summer is out of account in terms of taking over from Benin, uh, Benaki and the Fed Reserve. This of course has led immediately to massive, massive five year highs across European and US indices. Of course that's had a dramatic effect on the other side when you look at things like US dollar, it's now at a five uh, week low against the basket of currencies. I'm going to take you through some very quick and easy news today. I do have some fantastic new team members that are here to help you via Skype, email and phone. I hope very much that we can connect and have a chat. Hopefully I can help you further. For now let's get to it. Euro US shares hitting the five year highs. It's the, the real reason there is obviously US quantitative easing or QE3. It's the amount of money that the Fed Reserve is shoving into the US economy. Looks like it's going to continue for the near future. Of course, Bernanke wanted to step out of the Fed Reserve. Um, uh, it was quite notorious that uh, Lawrence Summer was very much against QE3 and planned to put a stop to it almost immediately. Now that Lawrence Summers, for whatever reason, has given up the ghost and he's out the running, we're now looking at a much more longer term view in terms of that quantitative easing continuing. And of course, that's meaning that overall share index prices are going up, the actual focus and confidence in the US dollar has gone straight down. Obviously, if they're just going to print more and more of it, it's not worth very much anymore, is it? Moving forward, Euro banking nightmare is continuing. Um, you can blame Germany for that one. Gotta love the Germans, like uh, my good friend Basil Fawlty would say, the Germans are coming. The problem here is that Germany's putting a hold on this new European banking union. Their problem is in the new union's uh, timely manner of putting forward what they would do in a current or future banking crisis. Um, of course, you know, Germany is, is a Bit of a stickler for doing things in a very particular fashion. I'm not really against them on this to be honest because the whole European Union was a goddamn shambles to begin with um, and you know if uh, if Germany wants to take uh, take the lead on this one I think someone needs to. What they're really discussing are future crisis models in terms of if there is another collapse or something close to it. How are we going to avoid the same problems that we've been facing over the past few months and past few years? Um, obviously on the back of that Euro shares, Euro prices are, are quite dramatically affected. The biggest story of the Fed Reserve is affecting things more even on the Euro share side. But you know, do keep in mind that the actual Euro currency is being affected in a negative fashion because we're all looking for this banking union to clean up the mess that's really hampering all of us from, from actually progressing. Last point of the day, um, Asian markets seem relatively semi-positive. I've written here semi-positive quite bullish volume for those of you out there that use indicators on charts like the stochastic view and they have a look at the stochastic indexes they can actually tell you um, how much daily volume we've actually got going on and how much volume at any given time is happening on a specific asset again do connect with me we can go through some charting and I can teach you a bit more about that um, but big stock and big bank mergers to come in the Asian section are actually driving forward that bullish positive behavior and I think the real key here is Japan for the future moving forward to the quick hot picks for right here right now today the 16th of September looking at sterling versus Japanese yen is actually rising up euro versus Japanese yen even with the euro banking nightmare because of the Federal Reserve issue like we discussed is rising up anything euro US dollar based uh, and this is really against the basket of currencies um, if it's going with the USD I'd say the USD actual movement is going to be going down um, Skype and my contact info is always behind me. I really do apologize on the haircut. I did try and beat the guy, but there was nothing I could do once he got the shaver out. Um, my name is The General Stone. I hope you'll be joining me all this week. And as much as you can connect with me on Skype, I do have a brand new team I'd like to introduce you to. Best of luck.